So I recently chipped a nail. Actually, not so recently because I posted these nails on Instagram like weeks ago. Anyway, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to show you guys how I fix my nails with a gel. So of course, the first thing to do is to remove the nail polish you're currently wearing. And if you're not, still be sure to use a rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover to get rid of the oils that may be on your nail plate. Then I'm just going to gently buff the surface of my nail to get rid of that shine and give the gel something to adhere to. And anytime that you use a file, you always want to clean off the dust. But you also want to push back your cuticles and remove any skin that may be on the nail plate. So I probably could have waited because I'm going to do it again. So once the nails are clean, you're ready to apply your silk wrap. And I'm going to show you how to prep it. Now you could just eyeball the size, but if you're not comfortable, then you can go ahead and just mark it with a pencil. Just be sure not to pull your silk too much because it's cut on a bias, which means it can stretch. So after you trim your rectangle, you actually just want to cut the corners of each side to give you a stop sign. This is going to help it fit around the cuticle line. But before I can actually apply the silk wrap, I need to fix my nail. Because I have more of a flap than a break, I'm just kind of folding the nail over and pressing hard to make sure that it is completely flush and flat to its normal shape. And to get every angle, I even applied my glue underneath. And now we're ready to apply the gel. So I'm first gonna apply my base layer. And this is a soak off gel. Think of clear gel as base gel. Base gel and clear gel are the same. Just think of it as gel polish without any color. That's what I'm using. So you want to apply an even coat and you guys will notice that I'm not actually pressing down on the bristles. What I'm doing is I'm floating over the nail because I want to create some thickness. If you press down, you're going to thin it out. So instead, hover over the top and the gel will fall. Then without curing, I'm going to apply the silk to the wet gel. You want the gel to saturate the entire silk wrap. So I'm just using my tweezers to kind of help it along. And because like I said, it's cut on the bias, it's going to form to your nail pretty easily. If you're familiar with fabric and weaving, then you know what I'm talking about, but if not, don't worry about it. It's not really that important. Then after you cure, you can trim away the excess. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you will trim it up later. So now I'm gonna go back in with my gel, and as you guys can see, I'm using a fair amount of product on my brush. Like I said, you wanna create thickness. So using that floating technique, I'm just hovering and letting the gel make contact with the nail, then pulling down very gently just to smooth and get rid of any brush strokes. Notice how my bristles barely move. So after I cure that layer, I'm going to apply my final coat. Now, do you see how expanded my bristles are? That's because I want the least amount of product around my cuticle area. So that's the only place that I'm pressing really hard because I want to thin the product out there. And this will ensure that your overlay looks natural instead of having a big hump at the top of your nail. So after this coat, go ahead and cure and then we're almost done. To finish the nail, we're going to have to file it. I'm using a 180 grit file, but first, don't forget to cleanse your nail. Remember, there's an inhibition layer that's left after you cure your gel, so you need to get rid of the stickiness, otherwise it'll get stuck to your tools. I begin by going gently around the cuticle. Remember, you don't have to file very much in this area because you didn't put very much product there to begin with. Because the grit is quite high, you only need a few strokes. Once I'm done, I follow that curve up the sides of the nail. Then I move to the tip. You guys can see that I'm doing strokes going down towards the tip because I'm thinning it out. Remember that you need the least amount of product around the cuticle and the tip for it to look natural. And then I just blend the middle portion that's left, which is the apex and the highest point of the nail. Then finally, I'm going to take a 220 sponge file and just smooth out all of those scratches that you put in the nail. Now we're actually done. You just need to get rid of your dust, make sure that you refine the free edge, and finish with the top gel. But please don't neglect your skin, so make sure you use a cuticle oil. As you guys probably know, oil is my remedy for everything. Now we're really done, and that's how I fix a broken nail with gel. I hope that was helpful for you guys. If it was, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it to anyone you think may need it, and I'll see you in the next one.